guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun summer learning book haul for you guys. We are year-round homeschoolers, so we don't take too long of a summer. This year I think it's going to be about six weeks, but we do some road tripping and we do have some rainy days here in South Florida in the summer and so I like to have some fun activity books on hand for those um, and just to keep their brains kind of engaged during our larger than usual break in the summer. It's a bit, little bit longer than we take, you know, off and on throughout the school year. And so I like to have a lot of resources on hand. I love Osborne Books and More, um, all of their activity books, their math activity books. There are so many fun activity books on the website. I'm a consultant, so I will link my website down below if you want to shop by my link. Many of you have friends who are also consultants, so if that's your if that's the case just look at what i bought and then go support your friends small businesses um but i just wanted to show you what i grabbed for my four kids this year my kids are four they are seven they will be 10 this summer and 12 and so we have we're going into pre-k four um second grade fifth grade and seventh grade and there is definitely something for everyone in this haul um besides that i am getting ready and gearing up to do my summer reading challenge that i have done four years now um if you want more info on that and you want to stay in the loop you can join my osborne vip facebook group and i will link that down below so that i don't exhaust you with all the info here if you're not interested in it but for those of you who have participated in the past, it's a really fun way for your kids to enjoy reading over the summer, earn some free books. And if you have participated, you and your kids and your family have participated in the past, because there is a parent reading challenge that I do as well, drop a comment down below to encourage others to join if they are on the fence. So uh, here is what I got to help bridge the Summer Gap, Stop the Summer Slide, and I will link all these books individually down below in the description box. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start this off with these Key Skills Wipe Clean Packs. These came out, I believe, last spring uh, as a way to help with all of the um, the distance learning that had just begun. Everybody was kind of looking for ways to bridge the summer gap and these came on the scene and I had my eye on these when they first came out. I thought they were really neat and so I thought that these would be a great way for, to do some independent learning this summer and just to brush up on some key skills. So there is the introduction, the intermediate, and then the advanced and these all happen to correspond perfectly to my kids' ages, my older three kids, so it was really just perfect. So it comes in this little pack, which I think is great if you're going on a road trip or maybe your kids go visit and stay with grandparents or other family for the summer and you want a way to have a portable little learning experience here. So what this is, is it is four different books in each pack that help focus on some key skills. So for example, the advanced English one, wipe clean spelling. So you've got some um, spelling in here. And then you also have advanced English wipe clean grammar and punctuation. Which I thought was really neat. And glossary back there. You have wipe clean telling the time. Like I said, I just thought this was really great um, way to brush up on some skills. And then wipe clean fractions, which is where my oldest is at right now. So I thought that this would be a fun way to do some more fraction practice. And what's great about these is you can keep them around year to year because they are wiped clean. Put them back in this bag for storage and pull them out for additional kids in the future. Um, and then the wipe clean intermediate set here, which I grabbed for Jesse. Has dividing. multiplying grammar and punctuation Oops. 
And then also spelling. And then the introduction set I grabbed for Eli. The first one's the hardest one to get out because it has the markers on it. But you can just throw the markers in the bag once you take this little plastic piece off. It has wipe clean adding. Subtracting. Grammar and punctuation. And then some more um, age appropriate spelling. So as always, it's just bright, colorful, it's fun. Is that a game in the back? Oh, I see. And I really wanted to grab these for the kids when I saw these last year, but because we had already been doing, uh, you know, at home learning, obviously, I didn't because they had been going out of stock so quickly last year, so I was happy to see that they brought them back and you can now get your hands on those. I also got some more wipe cleans. I kind of got these for summer and also just for Annie because she'll be in K4 next year. And she just so desperately wants to do some more formal school, so I thought we would play with these this summer and then see. Uh, it'll help me gauge where she's at, where to kind of start with her at the table next year. She really wants to sit at the table with us and do some school, so I got these first white clean shapes and patterns. I got the first white clean numbers, 1 through 20. The first white clean big letters. First white clean alphabet. First pen control, which we've had this before, I believe. I do believe we've owned this one before. And then the first wipe clean little letters. So uppercase and lowercase. In addition to those, I also got wipe clean money. So these were the first wipe clean. And then this is just the wipe clean. Obviously it goes kind of by age and or just, you know, grade level, skill level. Um, so this is counting or, um, Wipe clean money, which I thought, you know, it's always good to have around. Money and time. I feel like those are two concepts that have taken my older ones, or it took them a little longer to grasp when they were younger. And then um, starting cursive. My, my kids, my older two can already do cursive. Um, so I just thought I'd have this around because Eli kind of wants to. He wants to try, but I didn't want to get him the um, cursive curriculum yet so I thought I would just see where he's at with that and then um, go from there so I got all of those different white clean books as well all right next I have some additional learning palette packs here so if you're not familiar with the learning palette this is it we've already had this one for a while this is the first grade starter set however you can just reuse the same base and so you just take this off if you don't have the base yet you do need to get the base but it comes with um, these little um, manipulatives here and then they just it's self-correcting so they complete the puzzle and then they flip it over and it should line up with the right little pieces in there and so I bought a few additional sets to add to what they are what we already own so I got the fraction set the multiplication and division set and what does this come with? 12 cards each. 
fractions, money, and decimals. It has a level here if you're um, interested in going by level. They also have full grade level sets where you can get like, you know, a whole second grade reading center or a second grade math center. I like to just buy them individually. So then we have money, simple fractions, addition and subtraction. Then we have money fractions and simple multiplication and division. So this is the step before, or the level before this. So this is level one. So you've got money, simple fractions, addition and subtraction. And then this sounds very similar, but it's a whole level up. So then this is money fractions and simple multiplication and division. We also have geometry and measurement because I thought that that would come in handy with where we're at in math. For my, kind of right between my boys levels there. A few things I grabbed for Annabeth. These little coloring books are so cute. I just think they're so adorable and she has just been so into coloring lately. So I grabbed these for some road trip fun. So we have little coloring bugs, little coloring animals. So cute. Little coloring garden. Little coloring zoo animals. And then I also got her this little children's drawing book. So this is so, so cute. We'll, um, we help us put holes in the cheese. Um, we've got, I'd like to have stripes. The kittens need stripes and splotches. Bees need flowers. So cute. She's, she has been so cute with drawing lately. So I know she's going to love that. And then this is the first time I've gotten her one of the, my first, activity pad. So I got her the My First Superheroes activity pad. I will have to sit down and do this with her. The little children's activity books and these are recommended I think for ages four through seven. She's just four and I can, I really honestly would, could still get these for Eli who is seven and he still enjoys them. So um, really maybe like an older four, younger five, but I'll sit down and do this with her. So, so cute. Uh, find and circle all the letters in the word power. She loves superheroes right now. So I thought this was so perfect for her. But uh, it's like search and find, you've got a maze, you've got um, match, shape matching, just too cute, right? So, so cute. So she's gonna really enjoy doing this with me. I also got some pa uh, puzzle pads for the older kids, practice pads. So I got this math puzzle pad for Eli. I just think these are super fun. Well, I have a bunch of other um, practice pads, times table, um, multiply, if there's a measurement one, a time one. We still have some that haven't been gone through, but I will link them below because they are probably my favorite activity books from Usborne Books and More, so I will link them down below even though I didn't buy any this time around. So there's the math puzzle pad. Then we have the times tables practice pad. I got two of these for Bella and Jesse. This is new, the memory games pad. So I got three of these for, oops, I'm sorry. I almost just tipped you over there. I got three of these for the older three, obviously. So look closely at these flags for one minute, then turn the page and see if you can correctly label each flag with its country. There is game show. Look at the items on the conveyor belt for one minute, then turn the page and see how many you can list. I just think that's really fun. I would have loved stuff like this when I was their age. So I got three of those. And then I also got these number puzzles and games. I got three of these. I wasn't able to see inside, so I wasn't quite sure if it would be good for Eli or not, but I thought I'd sit with him. He's, he's a numbers boy. He's a math kid for sure. So um, if he was like teetering on the edge of this, being able to do this, I think if I just sit down with him, he will be good to go. I don't think he would get too frustrated. So that's fun, fit all the numbers into the spaces. Um, the spaceship crew need to reach planet, planet Kodo. 
Sorry, I'm trying to read this from behind my camera. Hopping between its many moons on the way, they need 100 more fuel units exactly to reach Kodo. They can stop at white moons with odd numbers, pink moons with even numbers, or any blue moon. Plot their route. So I thought that this would be really good for them for this summer. All right, next I got them the older three each, a word search puzzle, got space word searches, these are really good road trip um, activity books. And as I mentioned earlier, we have quite a few hours that we will be on the road this summer for various things. So I'm going to need all the help I can get for the back seat. I also got them this Easy Origami book, all four of them. I got one because I think Annie will be able to handle this as well. This is what is going to be one of the things that will be sitting out at their table at their place on the first day of summer. I like to have fun activity books like this for them. They have had the origami books before, but not easy origami. So I'm hoping that this one does not need as much assistance from me because the other ones, you know, they were legitimate origami. So a little bit more time consuming and difficult. What I like about these is that they have, or maybe not, Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, so if it has any of these pictures on it, this is how you fold it. So there's a key, and then the actual pages have the lines on them, so it helps a lot with um, taking out the guesswork. And then you'll see the picture is right there. There's the little picture for the key down there. So then they're able to flip to the back and see exactly how they're supposed to fold it if they get confused by the lines. I also got the older three each, the Write Your Own Poems book. There's also Write Your Own Scripts and Write Your Own Comic Books. Those are really fun for summer too, but I thought the older three would enjoy the Write Your Own Poems. I thought we could have some fun summer poetry tea time with these books because um, this summer we're going to be doing like a summer baking bucket list I think just because we can't do our typical at home summer bucket list this year because their summer is kind of broken up funny so I thought we could do some fun tea times with the fun things that they bake I got one of those for each of my older three. I also got this design activity book for Bella. She loves stuff like this. She really enjoyed the My Beautiful Room book that I got her last year. So that's another one if you have kids who like to doodle and design. The um, My Beautiful Room book is all about designing your own room and color palette and patterns. It's really, really cute. So I got her this one. And then I got, got grabbed and got this for all, all of my kids, this complete book of art ideas. We've never had this book and I've seen it shown in a lot of different places and I thought that it would be good to finally have a copy for ourselves. I have a couple of artists in my house that I have some trouble directing on my own. They have definitely surpassed my skill level um, and teaching level. I've gone about as far as I can with them on my own. Thankfully, there's some great resources out there and I thought this would be cool for them to have just for some inspiration or some help on their own, maybe to inspire them this summer on a rainy day. Next up, I have sticker books. This is what my kids really love. So I got the 1001 Bugs to Spot sticker book. A couple of these I have a plan for, a couple of them I don't. I just like to have them on hand, so it's really not for any child in particular. This one at least. The Alphabet sticker book, this one's for Annie.
unicorn sticker book. I love the sticker books. They are awesome if you are in the car. Big dinosaur sticker book or for restaurants if you're not you know, wanting to bring tablets in and have them on screens. I love these sticker books. They are not like done in two minutes and then done. You know, these take a little while so I really like them. I got this 1960s fashion sticker book which I thought was really cute but also <laughs> just a heads up. Um, so you know, as a parent, they were pretty detailed on the undergarments, so I'm not going to show that on camera, just in case. I mean, I'm being very, very conservative here. It's not like horrendous, but I just wanted to let you know, if you get that, you might want to do a little peek through on your own. I have the, um, country estate and 1920s fashion, which I also love. So cute. So, just really high quality sticker books here for older kids. And then I also got three of these art gallery sticker books for my older three. And it tells you what page to be looking at. So these are pages six to seven. This is for the entrance hall, pages four to five. So it's a little bit more guided. All right, I'm on my final few books here. So our kids could use some, uh, some joke writing assistance. <laughs> Sometimes John and I are like, oh my goodness, we need to get you a joke book because they try so hard. Um, the problem is we have not found a lot of clean comedy for them to like listen to or be inspired by or joke books that like, we love that aren't just like potty humor for kids. So we're going to give these ones a try. These are the A to Z joke books. So there's the animal joke book, the food joke book, the knock knock joke book, and the sports joke book. I love putting books out on, like I said earlier, at their place setting when they wake up on their first day of summer. So there's one for each of them. They go in alphabetical order and they're just cute little jokes. So I got them each one of those. They can spend some time this summer in the car making some jokes with each other. This flippy floppy lift the flap fun book. This is so cute. I got it for Annie. She loves lift the flap books, I'm trying to reestablish the habit of reading with her at bedtime. I've just really gotten out of the habit. And so I got this one to spruce up the bedtime routine. So you're, you're looking for this animal. And as you flip the page, it turns into, so like, what is this, a squid? Okay, so there's a squid, and then it turns into the shark, and it's like both pages, and then it turns into this discus fish, and it takes up all three pages, and then it turns into the turtle. So I thought that was like really cool. Um, so then you're looking for this fish, and it eventually turns into it. It's just so neat. I think it's really well done. See, how cool is that? So I got her that book. And then finally, two books. For my boys, next year we are doing astronomy with them. I haven't done astronomy with the kids since Eli Jesse was in preschool. So um, we're gonna do astronomy with the younger, with my middle two, my boys next year. Bella's gonna be doing science on her own next year. Um, so we're gonna circle back and do apologia astronomy and I thought that I would give them astronaut academy to work through this summer, kind of get hyped for astronomy. So I love the Academy books. There are so many of them and those would be so good for summer learning. So they have Scientist Academy, Chef Academy, Veterinarian Academy. They are not easy workbooks. They definitely take some time and effort, some brain power, some patience to work through. Um, but I thought this would be fun for them. And you kind of earn badges or little, um, is it badges for all of them? You earn stickers for completing each little task and then when you get to the end there's a certificate I believe that you completed the book yeah well done right there you've completed all your training um, and it's just it's really well done it's, these are really high quality books and there are tons of different like I said there's Space Academy or there's um, Scientist Academy, Chef Academy, Engineering Academy 
doctor, I believe. There's a doctor academy, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, can't remember. Anyway, super cool, love the academy books. And so that concludes my summer fun learning haul, my summer reading fun haul. <laughs> um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what is on your summer reading list this year. Um, we've got some more books on our list, but I just think that these activity books are such a great way to stop the slum summer slide, like I said earlier, to kind of bridge that gap between grade levels to keep them engaged, but to also keep it light and fun and simple as well. Um, so these are really great to travel with. I love the activity books. I think a good activity book haul from Osborne is one of my favorite packages to receive every year. Um, and like I said earlier, I just feel like these are all books I would have just loved so much as a kid. And so I really enjoy gifting these to my kids and my friends' kids and so forth and so on. So if you like hauls, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you soon.